This is the Evo X by 10 point center punch broadhead. When developing the center punch broadhead, we tested 20 different broadheads of all types for long range accuracy, wound channel creation, and penetration power. The two blade rear deploying style of the center punch broadhead produced the best results. Using high speed camera footage, we were able to show that the center punch broadhead never opened prematurely and groups shot with this broadhead averaged two inches at 60 yards. Additionally, our ballistics gel shooting tests also revealed a devastatingly wide wound channel. Are commonly offered with two blades. They utilize a hinged blade design and it's the rear side of the blade that sits closest to the tip. When the broadhead strikes the animal, the rear portion of the blades makes contact, causing the blades to scissor open. This type of broadhead carries two main advantages. First, having only two blades further reduces the surface area, yielding the best aerodynamics and the highest level of accuracy. Second, this type does not require springs, collars, or O-rings to keep the blades in place while in flight, even if you're shooting a high-performance crossbow, but open upon impact. The blades are mounted to the ferrule using hinges when the broadhead strikes the animal, the blades swing open. Mechanical broadheads have two main advantages. The blades tend to be lower profile and more aerodynamic, and this helps to greatly increase the cutting diameter while maintaining that aerodynamic flight. Common cutting diameters for mechanical broadheads are 1 and 1 8 inches to 1 and 7 8 inches. No. Mechanical broadheads have blades that remain closed during aero flight. Thank you for watching. What's up everybody? Thanks for joining us today. Today we want to talk about Slick Trick Broadheads. We have here with us today the Raptor Trick about Slick Trick Broadheads. Now we've done a lot of preparation leading up to this video simply because we want to make sure that this product does indeed work for you guys and that it is going to be worth your time and your money. We have here with us today the Raptor Trick Hunter Grain Broadhead. This is a mechanical broadhead. It's two blade um, and it has a two inch cutting diameter. Now there's a lot of features and specifics that I can talk about in this video, but most important to you guys is actually going to be seeing it perform. So we're gonna back up and we're gonna shoot this broadhead so these broadheads come in a three pack and they also include a practice head for you guys so that when you're out there on the range, you wanna see how the broadhead flies, you don't have to sacrifice one of your actual heads um, for the sake of sighting in your bow. However, for argument's sake, we are gonna do just that. Arrows are side by side, but we're only staying at 20 yards. Once again, side by side. And at a distance like this, you can really tell any sort of error or difference between the two. So I hope this is enough to show you guys that the Raptor Trick Hunter Grain Broadheads really do fly like field points as advertised, are worth your time, worth your money, and worth taking to the woods with you this fall. All right, we're gonna be shooting a broadhead from Ramcat. It's uh, the Diamondback Hybrid 100 Grain. It's got devastating impact, dependability, the fixed blades deliver 7th, 7 eighths cut. The mechanical blades deploy to 2 plus cut diameter. And uh, it's a guaranteed deployment. An O-ring system keeps razor sharp blades secure until impact. So uh, we're going to see what this old Ramcat does out of the crossbow at 20 yards. This is, this cut is pretty impressive. And it penetrated about well, it's way more than 10 to 7 eighths. It's about 11 and a quarter, I would say. I mean, that's that cut is extremely impressive. I mean, that would do a whitetail dirty. And the mechanical blades, they were two plus cut cutting diameter. And this this broad is absolutely filthy. I mean, as you can see what it did in the gel, you're gonna have no problem on a whitetail. I mean, <clears throat> traveling 360 feet per second, they won't know what hit them. And I would... This head is, you can use this head for both compound and crossbow. I mean, it's going to put a wicked wound channel on that deer for sure. I and mean, that's just, 
This thing's filthy. Coming to you with another ATA Insider. What ATA show would be complete without talking about broadheads? So we're in the Allen booth and we're talking about our new Blood Rush broadheads. And let me tell you a little something about how the Blood Rush broadhead was designed. So it's designed around three real premises here. The first thing being that there's a 26 degree twist that's machined into the ferrule. Number two, we also machine holes through the ferrule. We call these blood ports. And then the third piece here is the edge that we machine on each of these twist areas. So these three things working together actually create a little bit of a suck or pull, or we like to call it a, a blood vortex, as the product is passing through the soft tissue of, of your animal. So as this broadhead passes through that tissue, moves through and spins slightly, it actually creates the sucking motion that draws fluid across those ports and speeds up hemorrhaging and blood loss. And so hence the name blood rush, and hence the term that we've coined, hyperhemorrhage loss. That's how a blood rush broadhead works, and that's why this is a fantastic product. It's another gear review today. This is the Rage Hypodermic NC. So these are mechanical broadheads that Rage came out with um, pretty recently. I have a special guest on the video series tonight, my oldest daughter, Ella. You've seen her in a few of my other videos. It's a couple things that I'd like to note about these that I found really interesting um, before um, we recorded this video and I did some research on them. So a lot of people know Rage broadheads, they've been around for a long time. So Rage is actually one of the number one or the number one trusted uh, mechanical broadhead company in the world. So a lot of people already trust them. Uh, broad, mechanical broadheads just became legal here in Oregon, um, I believe it was last year. So these are some, gonna be some of the first ones that I hunt with. Rage Hypodermic NC. So the NC stands for no collar. So there's no collar, um, there's no bands, there's no nothing. So the peoples are loving these. Um, this has been really an effective uh, mechanical broadhead for Rage. Much more I can say, Rage Hypodermic NCs. Um, I'm gonna actually put these things on my um, arrows this year, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give these a shot. No pun intended. So if this was uh, useful to you, consider giving me a like. Uh, it doesn't help you much, but it does help me. It tells the YouTube algorithm machine that uh, people are liking this um, content. And if this was helpful to you, odds are it will be helpful to someone else as well. Um, if it really was, thank you guys for watching this. This is the K2 Hybrid from Afflictor Broadheads. This is one of our flagship broadheads as it was the first we ever made. It features an inch and three quarter cut and also our drive key technology. The drive key sits up front. When it's activated, the blades are deployed. The blades roll out from underneath an O-ring without cutting that O-ring. We have nothing over our blades, so there's no loss of energy and therefore no loss in penetration. The ferrule is made from 7075 T6 aluminum and our blades are 420 stainless steel and 32 thousandths thick. This model comes in 100 and 125 grains.